Good morning, YouTube. Good morning and filming with the GoPro 7. All right, guys, we're going off to run some errands. And yes, pick up the Christmas tree. <laughs> good job, Joseph. Right, we, are we are trimming the Christmas tree, looking good, but I forgot last week the comment of the week, and so I don't want to forget again this week. It's on my mind. I've been thinking about it all day because it's so amazing, so I'm just, I'm just going to share it right now with you guys from Justin, and here we go. Justin, this is just amazing. After He says this, after 15 years of powerlifting, I was in a very dark and lonely place. I found running a little over a year ago, going from couldn't run a 5K to fully running the St. Jude Marathon this December in three hours and 46 minutes. I found that lifting two times in 10 days helps me with form and mentally preparing myself for long runs. Your channel has helped me so much through advice on running form, shoe reviews, to just great advice. This community of running has truly saved my body and life. Justin, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Michael has something to say. I don't even know what to say, Justin. You're amazing. Thank you for that comment. And I, I, I hope everyone is absorbing that comment of the week. Like this is a real person with a real with a story, and they're sharing their story with us about how you all are helping Justin, like through your comments. <laughs> Yes, I'm going to get you through your comments, through your advice, through chiming into other people's comments down in the comment of the week. And so, Justin, thank you so, so much for the comment of the week. That's amazing. And we're here for you. Bottom line, we're here for you. And it's interesting, by the way, there's a lot of other power lifters who are discovering running and they're letting us know. Like, it's just fascinating to watch people discover running. And anyway, it's, I don't know what's going on out there, but um, I think it's that balance of you know, getting in the gym five to seven days a week maybe might not be the best game plan. So anyway, Justin, boom, fist pound. So after graduating with a history and teaching license from CU in 2009, I decided, I discerned and decided that teaching just wasn't quite for me. Um, anyway, that's a whole nother story and it just wasn't the right fit. So, um, I love media production. I love video production and now currently, and this is the day job and I just want to mention it briefly. I wish I could get into all the details. Now is not the time, but basically I work for a nonprofit and this nonprofit does media production, which is what, you know, from the time I was uh, in middle school, I've been very interested in media production. Um, so my main role at the nonprofit is fundraising and basically producing um, videos. So it's a, it's a very interesting situation because I'm working with people literally around the world in different time zones. And this connects back to the daily vlog here on this channel is that there's uh, well, there's only 24 hours in a day. Um, we all have different responsibilities and tasks that we need to complete every day. And basically I will be like right now it is 7 30 PM and the family is, well, the boys are asleep. True love is just relaxing. I will go back inside and basically work from like 8 30 to midnight. And so my working hours, through this nonprofit are just very strange. Like I will work weekends a lot of times, I will work nights, um, and yes, during the day as well. Uh, but a lot of times I will be able to work during the day on filming vlogs for you. And that is just like this it's just like the reality of the nonprofit that I work for is that my hours, they are they're kind of chopped up throughout the day because I'm working with different people around the world, literally on the other side of the world, like in Asia and Europe. And so it's, it's wild. Okay. 
I know I just shared a lot and that was just laying the foundation for what I'm about to share now. And turn those ears on, now's the important time to listen. I believe this is vlog 996, I think, which means in four days we will publish, maybe five days, we will publish vlog number 1000. 1000 daily vlogs in a row. And I don't say that to brag, I say that to share. I hope, I hope I've proven to you, YouTube, that I'm committed to you guys and I'm here for you for the long haul, all right? But what is interesting is that it appears we have struck a beautiful, beautiful chord here with a lot of other people on YouTube and specifically a lot of other runners. This is a comment from Toby. Toby, thank you, and I'm not gonna read the entire comment. Listen to this. I'm a relatively new subscriber. It wasn't long ago that I realized that you have been daily vlogging for a very long time. I'm super surprised that your channel hasn't experienced more growth. Well, I think you are great and I intend to do my part. I will be sharing your videos to my running groups today. Keep it up, sir. Toby, I read that comment because it's amazing and thank you, but I say I read it because I want to talk now about the future of this YouTube channel. I'll circle back to Toby in one second. We all have bills to pay. We all have bills to pay, right? I mean, we get, everyone has a cell phone bill. Everyone has to put gas in their car. Everyone has to buy groceries. Like, we all have bills to pay. And money is a beautiful thing if it serves, you know, the right purpose. And um, I got to take care of my family. Uh, I work for the nonprofit. Money is tight there. And so, with the growth of this YouTube channel and the enthusiasm that is coming forth, and I hope you are noticing that I'm striving to produce and publish quality for you. It's not always easy. Um, I'm kind of obsessed with quality, with a little bit of entertainment, and I know today's vlog is a little simpler, but like I love quality media production. That's what I'm striving for here on this YouTube channel. How do YouTubers make money? Well, advertising, thank you by the way for watching the, all these ads, and I know, I hope, some of them are actually relevant to you. And that's what I love about YouTube is that they should, YouTube should uh, be feeding you advertising that you would actually enjoy watching or clicking on. Meaning like I get a lot of ads from Running Warehouse. I get a lot of ads from REI. Um, anyway, like there, YouTube is getting better and better at serving up ads that you actually could benefit from. So thank you for watching the ads and that's how YouTubers make money. In addition, there's another way, Patreon. Patreon is a website where basically artists, musicians, uh, video producers uh, create a profile and then fans of these people can give these artists, these musicians uh, money. Uh, usually on a monthly basis, like $3 a month, $5 a month, $10 a month, if they really, really like what this artist or this musician is doing. Um, so that's Patreon. And this is where I'm at with Patreon. I think it's, I think it's a fine platform. I'm actually not a fan. I'm just going to put it out there. I believe that entrepreneurs can approach YouTube from more, a little more of a business perspective because I've been in the fundraising world for so long now, I can, I've, I've seen the ups and downs of fundraising and it's, you know, it's just, it's a, it's a challenge. I'm just going to put it that way. And so Patreon, I think has a little bit of a fundraising feel to it. Now I get it and I think it fit, it could fit for some artists and musicians. I honest, like truly everybody, and thank you for everyone who's offered to support me through Patreon. There's been quite a few of you. I do not uh, feel called to start a Patreon page. I really don't. Because I really, truly, honestly do not feel called to start a Patreon page where you could donate money to me. Instead, this is where I am at YouTube. All right, listen to me. Listen to me. And this connects back to Toby. And thank you again, Toby, for sharing these videos with your running friends. This is where I'm at, folks. This is just America. Listen, and this does not include Europe, Singapore, Australia, uh, China, uh, Russia. There's people in Russia, like Bulgaria. There was a comment from Bulgaria the other day. Hello, by the way, like shout out to Bulgaria. Guys, in America, I, I just looked it up. There are, sorry, in 2017, 2017, 60 million, 
60 million Americans participated in jogging or running events. So like races, 60 million. There's 300 million Americans, 60 million of them participated in a running or jogging event. This is where I'm at with money, with Patreon, with YouTube, with taking care of my family, with producing higher quality videos for you guys moving forward. If you feel called to give me your hard earned money and what that dollar amount is, I don't know. Is it $1 a month? Is it three? Is it 10? Based upon the value exchange that you feel is happening here on this channel. I don't know where you're at, but guys, the fact that that thought would even cross your mind is so humbling for me. But guess what? I, I don't want you to give me your money in that way through let's say like a patreon or now listen gofundme that was amazing and like that that was a unique situation with the running shoes being stolen ladies and gentlemen i don't want your money here's here's what i would love to see okay this is how you can specifically help and this is how we can continue to build this 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 community and frankly this momentum if you feel called to give me one dollar a month instead this is the challenge. Can you, once a month, commit to going out and finding one friend, one runner, one family member who you think would appreciate this comment and get them to subscribe to this channel? That's it. So instead of a dollar a month, one person subscribed. Instead of $8 a month, eight people subscribed every month. Okay, that is, ladies and gentlemen, that is how this YouTube channel will not only survive, but will thrive. And listen, 60 million runners in America, 60 million. Imagine if we could even hit, and I'm just going to say it right now, we're at, you know, we're, uh, we're heading towards 7,000 subscribers and it's amazing. But imagine 20,000 subscribers, imagine 30. And I can't even imagine where we would be at as a community at 50,000. Can't even imagine. Like it would, uh, stop, stop, stop. These videos are gonna get better. They're going to get better, but there's only 24 hours in a day. So I, I could use your help. I really could use your help growing this channel. So thank you for everybody who's offered to help. Thank you for commenting. And yes, the key word of the day is growth. I would love to see this channel grow. You know, asking for help has been a little bit of a challenge for me in my life, but I'm, not, I'm, I'm laying down my life right now to you guys to say I could really use your help by growing this channel. And the question of the day, the question of the day, here we go. What is one way that you think we can work together to grow this YouTube channel? How can we work together to grow this YouTube YouTube channel? Think outside the box, get creative. You know, you know, I know, I know there's a lot of creative people out there watching this. How can we grow this channel together? And it like I, like I said, sometimes I struggle asking for help. This is one very, very concrete way you can help me push this baby forward so that we can, as I've already said, make even better running content for you. Thank you so much for commenting. Whew, what a day. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Oh, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Mm. See you tomorrow. Woo, baby. Whoa, let's do this.